and 15, for anyone who's ever tried to buy or sell a house, you know it can be a very long, drawn-out process. Yes, ma'am, it can. That's why more people are considering it a less traditional option. Jeff Morris is founder and president of Morris Realty and Auction. How are Jeff, you? welcome to Live and I. Glad to have you here this morning. Thank you for having me. That less traditional method is actually an auction. Why it an is. auction? It is. It's, a, it's an interesting uh, concept in that what we do is when we market a house at auction, okay. we actually bring all the buyers to one place at one time okay. and have them compete for the highest bid. Makes sense. And in fact, when you see people say, well, I've got multiple offers on my house, that's basically an auction. Sure. And that they're taking offers and they're trying to get the highest bid. If you had all those people in the room at the same time and they're actually live in, the, in the just a few minutes, you can determine who's going to be the high bidder. So why well, haven't more of us taken advantage of this, or is this being used more often in other parts of the country? In other what? parts of the country it is. In fact, if you had a family farm in Iowa or, or Nebraska, sure. the first person you would call is the auctioneer. They're setting land price records every year by selling their property at auction. Huh. In the South, it's kind of gotten the, you know, per, 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 first thing people think of is, well, you know, it's a negative thing. Foreclosure, foreclosure or, or a flip or, property. Exactly. Right. But that comes back from long history of being kind of a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. In other parts of the world, it's the only way to do it. In fact, in Australia, 95% of all property is sold at auction. Really? really? They don't even think of putting a price on their property. So ordinary houses too? Because I also property. think real high level. Any house. property. Okay, does so in the traditional world, as the seller, I pay a commission of what? Four, three, yeah, five, it depends. It's a while. Okay. Yeah, it's Let's say three percent. Yeah, exactly. What does it cost me as a seller in the auction world? Well, in the auction business, what we do is we have the buyers pay the commission. Mm -hmm. Whatever the bid is for the property, that's what the seller gets. One other big huh. advantage of selling at auction is that you can sell your property as is, so you don't have any of the repair costs, mm. which is very nice. Do you have to have an inspection You still? can have an inspection, but the buyers have to do their own inspections, and they have to come be prepared because there's no contingencies in the contract for financing, mm -hmm. repairs, any other contingencies that you normally have in a traditional sale. Wow. So that when you're selling it as is, then you can do it whatever it is that the buyers bid on, and they do their own inspection. So, uh, so Jeff, what about those in real estate? Are there any advantages for those people who actually help try to sell homes and advantages for, again, the buyer, the seller themselves? Oh, yeah, we work with brokers all the time. If they yeah. have buyers, they can bring their buyers to the auction and get paid a commission just like they normally would. Really? Yes. So right now, it's kind of a seller's market anyway. It's a very much a seller's market in it's certain it. price ranges. Now, the higher the price ranges, uh, for example, in Memphis, uh, over a million dollars. We've kind of got a lot of houses on the market that have been sitting there for a while, over a million. Really? That there's a lot more houses mm -hmm. for sale in that price range than there are buyers. But in the lower ranges, you know, 150 to 500, they're selling very good. Good properties are bringing good money. Multiple offers. We're seeing a lot of that. So, so Jeff, is this, might... is this slow for everybody or is there a potential downside or... Or what? There's no downside whatsoever. Huh. Because so if a seller says, well, it's already a seller's market, I'm already going to get top dollar. Why well, should you, I go you, this Maybe way? you are, maybe you're not. The most awful <laughs> we offer, don't know, right? You don't know. So well, you don't know true. how much money you're leaving on the table saying, well, we set a price and we got it above the, what our asking price was. Well, maybe you didn't ask enough. Maybe you don't That's know what the ceiling point. is. The beauty of an auction is we start low and we go high and we don't have a ceiling on our pricing. Are the sellers... The high bidder can just keep going. Okay, so are the sellers committed to it's happening this day, this time, the highest bidder gets it absolutely. So you kind of uh, take what the, you do. You know, they, we have two ways of selling. You can have it with a reserve or not with a reserve. So if you don't have a reserve, you know it's going to sell. If you have a reserve, if it doesn't get to your price, you don't have to sell it. Well, All right. Doesn't sound like there's a disadvantage for sellers no, really at all. Isn't. And the other good thing is there's we have what we call controlled inspections. We only have two dates where they can come and look gotcha. at the property. Gotcha. So if you have a family and you're worried about having to keep your house looking good all the time, you don't have to do that. We like know that a lot, Jeff. Says a man who's raised children. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. you very much. Appreciate you being here.